hello friends so let's talk a little bit about dune okay so i'm gonna give you a little bit of context a little bit of spoilers but not too much just from the novels okay so i want to tell you guys a little bit about the universe and the world of dune so dune is considered the greatest written science fiction ever put to pen so it is the original godfather that has created everything else since star wars star trek all that stuff dune is inspiration for all of it and this man uh frank uh the hubert i think his name was was so ahead of his time uh for the themes the characters the stories you owe things uh shows such as game of thrones to novels like dune now for context the dune universe and the new recent movies there's been a lot of different interpretations of how they've tried to put dune to film they always said that dune was impossible to adapt to movies inconceivable you keep using the word i don't think it means what you think it means that it was just too grandiose that there was just too much happening on screen that the story was too massive that it could never be told properly well We're finally in a time... uh, How exciting is it to be alive during a time when we can see Dune? And it's not only, like, seeing Dune, but we're seeing Dune as it was meant to be shown. Perhaps one of the best movies out there. One of the best works of of, of the director by far. You could argue that Arrival is one of his... uh, Daniel Daniel Wu, whatever you say his name. Um, He's one of my favorite directors working... He uses a lot of uh, unspoken, so he uses a lot of visual cues. So he, he, he will portray a lot of meaning, a lot of emotion through uh, subtle and non-verbal cues. So when you're directing film, when you're making movies, you'll notice that the audience, some movies will explain things to the audience. They don't give the audience enough credit, but he does. He respects his audience to the point where you are intelligent enough to understand the context of the scene, the feeling of a character, and so on. And that's something that he does masterfully. And his DP has worked with him since, uh, which is director of photography, so it is the, his cameraman, uh, has worked with him since Blade Runner 2049. Uh, he worked with him Arrival, and yeah, he's one of the best in, in, in the field, uh, in, in the field too. But anyways, so Dune, if you're wondering about the movies on Dune, okay, let me give you a quick little guide. The first movie, Dune, okay, part one, that was released uh, in 2022, I think it was, or 21. That is only the first half of the first book. So the, 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 the one, there's a lot of books, okay? There's Dune, the Children of Dune, Dune Messiah. There's a whole story that takes place thousands of years into the future. Um, I don't... Like, the Dune universe is massive, okay? But just that first movie was only half of, of, of the first book. Now, the movie that David Fincher made, I believe it was, was it Fincher? Uh, they created in the 80s or 70s. No, it was the 80s. Um, that, they tried to cram that entire story into a two-hour movie. And it's just impossible. So this movie it takes its time. It establishes the characters. It establishes the world. It establishes the the um, the nuances and the, you know the political reasons for why the emperor and how you know the uh, hurricanes um, uh, do what they do. Why they betray House Atreides.